Okay. Uh, I wanted to do a video today, and uh, I just wanted to do something a little different, and I want to explain to people that uh, you should charge what you're worth. Um, this is a little project I was doing that, you know, it's all over the internet. I'm obviously not the first to do this, but I made some American flag out of wood. And uh, I started making them just for like friends and family. And some people started asking me if I would sell them. So uh, I said, you know, of course, I, I'm willing to make some money. I'll sell them. So I said, let me get back to you. And I'll get back to you with a price after I figure out, you know, how much it costs me and all that sort of stuff to figure out a good price. So this is one of my projects here. And uh, the reason why I'm unveiling this as I do this is because I wanted to point out a couple of things. Okay, so this is one of the ones that I tried to make like a real American flag. And all right, I took a piece of uh, thick, good plywood, a uh, three quarter inch, um, and I sanded it down and sanded it down and I sanded it down and then I cut it into strips uh, as a matter of fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right here and, uh, okay so some of the other ones that I've made here and this one uh, bowed so um, this is something else I was going to explain in a minute. But uh, as you can see, I cut them all, sanded them, you know, and whether I burned them, I painted them, um, you know, the stars are real pain in the ass. So, you know, I went with stencils on those, but these are all separate sanded. I, I did not buy uh, one by twos. I cut one by twos. Okay, and I went through and I figured out measurements and then I figured out measurements of the um, stripes, um, you know, and as you can see on this one, there's a bunch of imperfections. There's some overspraying and stuff like that. There's some, some problems with it. Okay, uh, some of this is just dust, sawdust that's been flying around, but uh, as you can see, this one's not perfect. So this one's not going to, that's why it's not together yet. Um, so this one, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to save this by sanding it and doing one of the rough styles, like something like that, something like that. All right. And, um, I'm going to try to save this one if I can, but if not, I'll just have to sand the whole thing down, repaint it blue and go at it again. And, and I'll tell you what, I have some of them. I made some smaller ones earlier that are over at my uh, barber shop, and I'll tell you what, some of them I did five or six times. It's it's not as easy as people think. Um, uh, the best way to do it is as little paint as possible. Um, if you're using regular paint, you know brush paint that works better. But I like the the look of spray paint, so I go with spray paint, and because of it, I have issues. Um, but that's you know what what I want it's it's the look I'm going for it's my artwork so the point I'm trying to make with all of this is that it takes a lot of work to do this all right and you should charge what you're worth and if people aren't willing to pay that then they don't get it it's that simple when it comes to artwork when you put your heart into it and your love into it what you say it's worth is what it is worth do not accept people's nonsense. I had somebody who asked to buy one. And then when I talked to him about it, he acted like, oh, okay, well, I got to come and see it. Well, of course you would come and see it. You know, if the price is too much, then don't buy it. Because this it's worth, to me, it is worth the love and the time I take to give it to somebody for free, to somebody I care about, or... It is worth the money I say it is worth. And then on top of that, I go online and I look and I'm way cheaper than everybody else online. So whatever. But one of the points I was trying to make with this one is 
all the time and effort it takes to do these, not only the cutting and the painting and the sanding and everything, um, but as you can see with this one, okay, if you look at it overall, it looks really good. And I tried really hard to make this one perfect. And at the very end, last second, if you look real closely, there they are. I shot two nails through the other side. And I ruined the whole thing. And I was really aggravated. And I tried my damnedest to save it. So the other thing I was going to point out, and I'm going to do a video on it another time. But uh, the way to fix these, um, I could have taken some more time with it. But I really didn't want the reds to be too different. Because if I put too many coats on this one and this one doesn't have enough, then it changes. Also, what happens is when you have to tape and paint, you wind up getting running into the other one. And that was the whole point of cutting them separately and then gluing them back together and everything. So that I would have none of this. Like on these, there's none of that because they're all separately painted. So when I had to fix that spot... I mean, I try my damnedest to tape it off correctly, but that's what happens, and that's what happens, and all this work, there's no way I'm going to accept less than what I say it's worth. Here's another one, another example of something I went through all the trouble of. I completely finished everything, and it was ruined. One little mistake... And the whole thing is trash. And that is nobody else's fault. By no means. And by no means would this cost more. But you have to get. What you put into it. Otherwise. It's not worth the effort. So. Hopefully. Uh kind of help people because I know in the past um, I'm also a barber I work on cars if you see my other videos I do really anything I, I don't like to pay people for things I think that I, I can accomplish anything anything in the world that can be done I think I can do it and I think that a lot of people are the same way and they don't realize they're the same way um, this is something like I said that a million people have done but it's something that uh I decided I wanted to do for myself and wanted to do it the way I wanted to do it. And so I just encourage you to uh, get what you're worth. You know, don't put up with anybody's nonsense. If you put your hard work into it, then it is what you say it is. Obviously, be reasonable. Thanks for watching.